What's going on guys, it's Pat Fantasia and today we're bringing you a local spotlight with my man Austin Erickson, owner and producer of the brand Ocean Swell, as you can see on my t-shirt. So uh, why don't you tell me you know, how you came up with the idea uh, you know, for the clothing brand? Uh, well I came up with it about two and a half, three years ago, back in 2009. Mm -hmm. um, I've always kind of wanted to start my own business, whatever it was, and I kind of fell into the name Ocean Swell and from there just kind of took off with the clothing line. Awesome. So, uh, was there anything that like really stuck out that motivated you with the name Ocean Swell? Was it kind of like, I mean, with the logo, it's a dope logo, you know what I mean? Uh, was there anything else that, you know, kind of played into how you came up with the name? Well, uh, you know, I've always been into the whole water scene. Mm -hmm. uh, it's definitely a surf, and style, uh, surf inspired lifestyle brand, whatever that is. Um, I'm no surfer, but I love the beach, love the water. Like I love everyone. the beach as well. Exactly. Um, so like I said, it's a lifestyle brand. We're all about just casual, clean stuff, mm -hmm. versatility. Um, you can wear this golf and I'm wearing a pocket tee right now. You can wear this golf in classroom on a date, it doesn't matter. You know, whatever you want to do with it. Flies for any situation, that's cool. So yeah. um are there any like non-profit organizations that your clothing brand contributes to when people purchase your merchandise? Yeah, actually um, I'm a big fly fisherman, mm -hmm. big outdoorsman in general, and uh, we work closely with an organization called Project Healing Waters. Um, essentially that's a uh, a program that works with wounded soldiers through uh, fly fishing helps them regain motor skills through the art of casting. And so, uh, portion of your proceeds from every shirt goes towards that organization. That's awesome, man. I love that you're contributing to, uh, you know, the armed forces and whatnot. Because I have a brother in the military, so that's we're all about cool the military. With me. Yep. Um, so, where can people purchase Ocean Swell clothing? Where can um, they, do you have, you know, any social networking sites, any stuff like that that you want to, you know, pitch to the people so people can, you know, look up your brand and find it? Yeah, we connect uh, via socially on Facebook and uh, Twitter. Mm -hmm. um, our Twitter handle is at the Ocean Swell, and on Facebook it's facebook.com forward slash the Ocean Swell. Um, you can also find us online at theoceanswell.com. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, I think that's all we need, man, but uh, I appreciate it. So uh, thank you for coming out and let me rock some of this fresh gear. And uh, we'll take it easy. See you guys later. Thank Peace. you. Peace. Thank you. All right, so now that we've learned a little bit more about the brand Ocean Swell, I see you brought some merchandise yeah, today. Man. So yeah. uh, feel free to show it off, man. Uh, okay. Show off the different shirts, the okay. different colors. Uh, well, I only, uh, didn't have all of it with me. A lot of it's sold out, so I don't have a lot of the... Uh, Stuff here. This is just that stuff I had lying around the house and the warehouse. That's cool, man. That's cool. Yeah. Um, this is a, a long sleeve I came out with in the winter. You can see both sides. But everything here we print on is uh, American Apparel, which is a uh, ring spun cotton, all 100% American made. All of our inks are hand pressed, real soft stuff. I like the green one, man. I'm not gonna lie. The green one looks fly. That's yeah, a mint colored tee. It's called our break wall. Pretty fly. Um, everything's printed both sides. We don't like wasting any angles of the shirt. You know, mm -hmm. we like printing. Even this we've got on, it's got the front and the back logos. Even if it's an accent, whatever it is, we've got it. What did you say about the tags? Uh, okay, okay. Um, all of our tags feature uh, my favorite Bible verse on them, Proverbs 119. We actually threw it on the back of this tank too, as you can see here. Here's both sides of that. Proverbs 119, my favorite Bible verse. We got uh, the eggplant, which is the uh, same series as that. Came in multiple different colors. This is one of them, that's another. We've got our custom elytics that sold out within a week. Yeah, man, I definitely like that one. So yeah. uh, when you came up with like the logo or the designs for the shirt, like do you use like any program or is it like okay. an artist or anything? Okay. Actually, uh, I got a couple different artists we've used in the past and still using. Um, Mo Cabani, Alex Morgan, Carlos Ventez, Alex Brito. Um, all of them have contributed. Everything's hand drawn. We don't like to mess with that that computer Photoshop stuff, you know, mm -hmm. unless we're just refining. Even this logo itself is actually hand-drawn and smooth, right. real smooth. I feel that, man. And what about those socks, man? What yeah, about man, the socks? socks are sweet. Uh, we came <laughs> out with uh, white and black Pima cotton socks. Like I said, everything's 100% American made. These were made out on the West Coast, got them shipped over here. I'm actually wearing apparel now. More comfortable than your Nike socks, take my word for it. I, I'll, I'll take your <laughs> word for it, man. But uh, just to reiterate, so you said people can find this this merchandise Ocean Swell at where at? At theoceanswell.com. You can uh, reach us at contact at theoceanswell.com, austin.erickson at theoceanswell.com. We got we're on Facebook, Facebook.com slash the ocean swell, Twitter handle at the ocean swell. We got it man. Alright man. Well I appreciate you coming out. Yeah man. So uh, thank you for showing off your brand. Thank you. Thank and you. uh yeah guys it's Ocean Swell. Austin Erickson is the man. Check him out, check out the website. And that's all for today, so Thank catch you. you guys later. Thank you. Peace.
What's going on guys? Right now we are at WGMU and if you cannot tell we are on the air and today I have set up an interview with two uh, DJs here at WGMU and uh, they're going to be meeting up with us and you know kind of explaining what their show is about what WGMU is all about and how they like to bring in local artists and yeah so that we gonna get right into it Whoosh. What's going on guys, Pat Fantasia here with episode 4 of Unsigned Hype and today we are at the George Mason radio station WGMU and I'm sitting here today with two very important people so why don't you guys uh, introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm uh, Vince Kane, I'm the local and independent music director. I am Aisha Hussain, I am the assistant local music director. Alright, so now that you guys are familiar with these two important people, uh, so how long have you guys been working at WGMU? Well, she is the reason I actually started working here. You've been here four forever. Years now. Yeah. yeah, she's been here for four years. I've been here in my current position for a year, and then last year I was all I was here, just not. You know, so two years and four years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I worked as local music director for yeah, a she, year. Yeah, yeah. So. And uh, in fact, the way I got interested in the station was a funny story. My first week of school, or not first week, first month of school, I was walking by here in the JC, and uh, she had her show going on, and I kind of waved, and she was like, "Hey, you know, yeah, come in here." I was like, "Really? Okay." So then I, uh, I went in, and that was the rest of it. You know, went from there, and. It's true what they say, and I've heard this before, is that in the first three weeks of being at school, you pick your main organization that you're going to be involved with for the rest of your, you know, college, college career. career. And I guess that happened for me. So. I was right here in this building. <laughs> um, that's cool. So you guys just got done with the show, right? You guys had an hour-long show. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the name of that show and just kind of like, you know, is there a theme to it, anything like that? Well, I've, she started the show, Charlotte. I've, yeah, I've had the there. show for three years now as a specialty show. It used to run for three hours before, oh, wow. and we narrowed it down to one hour. So what I basically do, like, I love to help promote local bands, and we focus on that only. We mainly try to play only local music and influential music of the local right. bands that we, right. we help like, promote. Right. So we bring an artist in every week. Mm -hmm and we have them perform for the last 15 minutes of the show and throughout we just talk, talk to them and ask about questions. why they're doing what they're doing yeah. and just embarrassing questions to just get to know them in a certain way yeah. and their and fans can get a better taste of who they are Absolutely. off stage and Vince also brings in his historical encyclopedia of, of <laughs> facts because he is a guru on that and yeah. he makes it more interesting because I used to do the show alone and now there's a more dynamic well, Yeah, we, we bring two really different things to the table. Uh, I myself am a multi-instrumentalist, you know, and that, that makes a big difference in asking specific questions and like she said, I'm vastly interested in music history, particularly pop music. Uh, I have another show that I do on my own and that show is all just about every week we pick one really important artist, whether it's Elvis or whoever. Some of you maybe not have heard of, you know, I just show on a band called Osu Founders. Founders. Yeah, some yeah some something really important. That's some really big movement, yeah, right. That maybe music. you don't know about them, but you're feeling the effects of that band mm -hmm. through other bands that you've heard of. You know, if you even if you've never heard of the Beatles, they affect you. Yeah. If, mm -hmm. Every day, every time and of music that you listen absolutely. to, you can argue that there is some There's way some that way the Beatles absolutely. influenced absolutely. them. Absolutely. So I think that's, that's cool. Right. And so, so I take a look at you know some of the bands you have heard and look at things that maybe you don't know about them, or I take a look at you know bands that you've never heard of and why you like should have. Whole bits and pieces yeah, that absolutely. are kind of just like oh, like here's that type of sound that you know people are like it's right. so easily recognizable, right. but here's kind of where they draw. Well, yeah, like, yeah, and I, I, most I, of it's mistakes. Well, and I'll give you a really <laughs> quick uh, example. There's a band that I hope you've all heard of, and we when we everyone we bring in says they love Radiohead, and Radiohead is really big influence in them. And I, I, you know, I like Radiohead too. But there's a band in uh, 1968 called White Noise that was doing things that they did in their 2000 album called Kid A, and you've never heard of them because back then it was too far ahead to really yeah, get its just its desserts. Time, right, right, exactly. So we've 
you know, that's what I try to do is point out things like that or interesting little facts that you might not know, stuff like that. That's, that's very cool. Yeah. Um, touching back onto the topic of how you guys said your show is kind of, it's all about, you know, local musicians and artists. Like, that's why we figured you guys would be perfect, you know, to sit down for this interview because mm -hmm. we basically have the same premise for, you know, our show. We've been, you know, uh, interviewing and having bands, you know, do live performances and, um, you know, they've just been coming through and just basically all been local to, you know, Mason and the Virginia area. And I just think it's very cool because, you know, there's a lot of talented musicians Absolutely. out there yeah. that do not, you know, necessarily have the type of exposure that, you know, some people may think they deserve. So I think it's Absolutely. cool that we're, you know, on the same kind of page Absolutely. where it's like we just want to break these artists, you know, into the industry a little bit more and kind of push their name. Um, can you guys think of any artists that you've had on the show recently that you could just think off the top of your head? Oh yeah, you, you could yeah. rattle them off. I'm a sure. lot. A band of beggars we had in the studio this past yeah, week. That's, that's actually funny. We just did a, a segment with, yeah. with bandits and beggars. So. I've been begging them for months to come to see, so I'm happy they begging came in. Them. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, I, from artists that have been signed as well, I have. I've interviewed the Kin. I've done video interviews with them, yeah, and they just got signed. In We've had Mute Math. Uh, Downtown Fiction. Downtown Fiction. Andy Zip was just in the studio mm -hmm. just talking with us on the air. And Justin Turwick, he does the... the oh, he was good. I a like lot him. of great and, stuff uh, on the East Coast. Wendell Kimbrough. Wendell Kimbrew. Yeah, Brew. Sorry. Yeah. He's really good. He's I love him. phenomenal. Uh, Wytold, who we're yes. both big fans of. I actually brought him on here for a concert we put together not too long ago. The Dreamscapes Project. I oh, love they've been here like eighty times. Oh yeah, I've had their yeah, whole set in this in this small little room. Mm -hmm. I love helping to promote alumni bands as well. Yes. So yeah, you know, ultimately our goal is. You know, we want to help music, but at the end of the day, the most important thing is helping out Mason community, and that's our main goal as a student organization. It's not to make money. It's not to, you know, go find these bands. And that we do all that thing, those things, and those are our goals, but at the end of the day, we just want to do things that are good for the students. Yeah, I definitely feel that. Um, so if someone was looking to, you know, get into WGMU, like maybe become a radio DJ or host their own show, like, mm -hmm. Do you guys, is there like a process? Are there some steps you gotta take? Do you have to take a course? Can well, you just like kind of walk us through There's, a, there's a number of things you can do. Um, if you wanna, you know, volunteer, you can be an assistant of mine. Um, anyone can do that. We'll, we'll get you doing something. Or there, we have a number of departments. We have people who do promotions and people who, you know, I have an assistant who literally just goes to concerts and writes reviews. That's all she does. And, or engineer. And she gets a lot of free tickets. Or if you want to engineer, there's a number of ways you can get on, you know, off, you know, air. But on air, if you want to do that, anyone who's a student can come in and do it. All you have to do is we will train you for free. You don't have to do anything. And you just to pass your training, you can have a show on pretty much whatever you want. That's pretty cool. I might actually have to come in here. Yeah. Because, I mean, I used to be a, I had a radio show in high school because my high school actually had a oh, cool. had a radio station so I think it was pretty cool I mean I yeah. like to talk I like music I'm a music it's producer I'd like to you know you know play some some type music maybe plug a little bit of my own music yeah, you know you all can. that type we have of people stuff dedicate the whole hour to their music only that's crazy so. yeah I definitely might have to stop in here and have one of you guys train me up but uh yeah so I mean I think that kind of that sums it up for today so why don't you guys just state just who you are again uh, this is a uh, this is Aisha, <laughs> Aisha, and, and then uh, Vince Kane, and this is Pat Fantasia. This is unsigned hype. Thank you for joining us. Peace. Thank you guys for checking out this episode of Unsigned Hype. Make sure you go check out Ocean Swell and WGMU for more information on those two segments on this episode. Uh, I appreciate you guys taking the time to check it out, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.